So welcome back to Dino's Garage for the VFR800. Now in the last episode we saw that I put the vinyl wrapped left and right hand side panels back on and we got on and we painted the cam cover. Um, in this episode we're going to be looking at me finishing the painting on the radiator um, and also we're going to be putting some decals on the left and right hand side of the white panels uh, just above where we vinyl wrapped um, and then we'll look at some other things we're going to look at the possibility of removing the baffle from the Akrapovic exhaust system just to really see Ooh, should I say just to really hear what that sounds like because at the moment it sounds brilliant when those VTEC valves open up and the bike's moving off at some speed and higher revs but what would it sound like at lower revs without that um, baffle in the Akrapovic exhaust and um, we're going to listen to that in a little while and see what it's like with and without the standard baffle so stick with me here in Dino's garage um, and we'll crack on and uh, we'll you know hear and see what goes on in this episode so stick around so the decals I'll refer to are these here uh, quite simply just says cross runner I took a while to find these you can buy some very expensive cross runner decals or stickers they came in at around sort of 60 pounds plus per pair um, and I couldn't find them in England they were via a European website um, so again you had to pay for extra money to get them posted these actually cost less than I think they were around about 10 pounds for the pair so we're going to be sticking these on to that area just above those panels if we look now we can see where I'm referring to so we're going to be putting these in those areas and we'll see what that looks like in a second but let's get these on now now it is cold today it's only about eight degrees outside so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cleaning each side with our panel wipe to make sure everything's nice and clean and then I'll warm up the area slightly before sticking these decals on and we'll be using simply just a bit of clean white rag to go across and make sure that we haven't got any air bubbles underneath these as we stick them down so let's get on and do these now so as I say we are going to be putting the cross runner decals along this section here which is where they are on the standard bike just across through here now they were removed from here because this is a police bike they took away any sort of decals and stickers and things and so we have our panel wipe so I'm just going to be putting a bit of panel wipe onto a bit of rag clean this area with that panel wipe and then we can look to put the first decal on doesn't need much panel wipe just really make sure that area is nice and clean and you can literally hear it squeak so that old saying squeaky clean is literally what this is now it takes away any any sort of residues and polishes and things and just make sure that you're sticking that decal onto a very good clean wax free polish free surface so as I say we're out of the wind we're in the garage as you can see first decal I'm trying to touch the back of this as minimally as I can and really I'm just sort of lining this up now I can put it across above the Honda if I wanted to have it halfway but I think it looks nice to put the cross above the Honda I'm just going to stick the centre of that like that and then just eye it up and see how it looks before then I think that looks about right runs this bit runs nice and evenly to this line here and that cross is sitting not dead above just further back and then cross like that I'm happy with that so I'm gonna work those air bubbles out We're running it 
through like so. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Right, so I now want to tackle this part here on top of the radiator. What I've done is I've removed both halves of the stainless steel belly pan. And so like I say, what I need to do is with this bit here, is remove this loose paint with my um, brass wire, wire brush. And then I can basically use the same paint to paint over the the rad because this bit's seen and it works so white it looks pretty hideous to be honest from both sides so that's the next thing I'm going to tackle now so you can see it's pretty pretty bad the amount of loose paint that's just gently taking it off with a wire brush and um, annoyingly this bracket is in the way for me to get into this bit that's underneath here so I'm going to have to undo this bracket and try and move it out the way there's a rubber sleeve bung there that goes down this pipe so I need to yeah remove this and try and get it out of the way so I can then wire brush this bit and then obviously spray it and tidy this up but like I say it's white where it's an aluminium radiator once water gets underneath the paint it starts to corrode and that corrosion unlike rust which is brown obviously this is white and a powdery sort of white as well so it's really obvious and really annoying so that really needs to be sorted out now and so there it is painted it's not perfect obviously because it's painted in situ but at least we've got a few coats of paint on there probably looks worse actually in this torchlight than it does without it um, but that's it painted on this side and again on this side perhaps it looks a little worse with this torch catch, catching everything but unfortunately the sun's beginning to go down now and we're in the garage rather than outside but um yeah clearly looks a lot better than all of that flaking horrible paint i'll show you what it looks like once we get the cleaned belly pan back on because i need to polish that up a bit now because that's a little bit tarnished but there we go really that's all of that cam cover done and all of those rads painted not in the ideal way because in the ideal way you would take everything off get all of the flaking paint off or perhaps even and I did look even replace the rad with another but I couldn't find a, a cheap replacement radiator to go back on this type of bike so there we go that's that done um, and like I say next up I'm going to polish those belly pans um, each half and then get those back on the bike So whilst I have a bit of light, I'm going to clean up these two half sections of the belly So they're stainless steel, but these are tarnished um, What I really need to do is get a bit of auto sole and maybe a bit of fine wire wool I need to be careful not to scratch them with the wire wool which will in turn make them more susceptible to being tarnished in the future so I'm going to get on now, grab some of the fine wire wool, a rag and some water sole and see how much I can clean these up. But they are, trust me, they may not look it on camera, but they are very tarnished and do need a good old clean. So I'm going to get on and do that now. And so there we are after a good day's work. We've sprayed those radiators, polished some of the... the um, chrome hoses that go behind the steel belly pans polished and cleaned the belly pan so yeah all in all quite a lot of hard work today so on the VFR 800 Crossrunner certainly on the 2015 model it had this 
Akropovic exhaust system and on it the Akropovic N can. Now just in here is a, a little what looks like probably an 8mm nut or bolt head so I'm hoping that I can undo this and then maybe remove this baffle and see what the bike sounds like with and without the Akropovic baffle inside the N can. So first let's start the bike and see what it sounds like with it and then we'll see if we can remove this and see what it sounds like without it. like with the standard exhaust on there and with the baffle in it let's give it a little rev right now we switch the engine off, let's see if we can remove this 8mm bolt or you know the head of the bolt from there and then see whether that allows us just to simply remove that baffle or not. Let's look at how easy it may be. I'm using a C spanner here because I don't think you'll get anything else other than a C spanner in there to undo that. So I haven't removed the bolt, um, I'm trying to loosen this up, I was hoping that this might come out, I've got my thumb inside the actual exhaust and I'm just trying to loosen it up and persuade it to come out but it's not wiggling or wobbling in any way. So I'm going to spray a little bit of WD-40 in around here to maybe loosen it up a little. Um, and then get a pair of pliers on there and try and persuade it to come out and see whether that will work. So, bear me a second. So, first I'm going to use a bit of WD-40 and just spray in and around this area, just a little. Just so it goes into that little area between the two surfaces. Nothing too much, so I'm going to drip down and get all over the floor anyway if I do and then I've got these fellas which I'm going to use the reason I've got these rather than just conventional small pliers is these give me more leverage to sort of work sideways and try and work it loose but to, to avoid scratching anything I'm going to use this bit of rag um, I'm hoping I've got a bit of bite on there perhaps not enough bite on that bit let's try just on the side here let's see whether I can wiggle or lo loosen no mm, doesn't give me much to work with let's double up this rag because we don't want to be damaging the pipe if we can help it I'm just going to try and wiggle backwards and forwards just to see whether I can what I don't want to do is damage the standard pipe and end up causing myself problems I can't no. well, let me pull on that got nothing nothing once that screws removed I've still got nothing to uh, get any purchase on of course the problem is this could be the first time this has been removed after 24,000 miles from new and so what happens is you get a little bit of sort of carbon build up around the the edge between the two surfaces between the bit that may come out and the bit that's in there which is this carbon fiber section and uh, we don't want to break this carbon fibre section so we don't want to start poking screwdrivers around in there because if I do try and poke a screwdriver in there I'm probably just going to crack the carbon fibre which is 
the last thing I want to do but I was hoping I could get hold of this bit and this bit and maybe just start wiggling it free but I don't know um, next thing maybe is to try and put like a, a broom handle tapered broom handle into this part wooden so it won't really damage anything and then that will give me some leverage to try and wiggle and, and, and maybe try and pull it that way let's try that so as you can see I've got a nice thick broom handle here the end of the broom and that just nicely goes in there with a few millimeters to spare and I can push that in and then just very gently use the leverage of the broom handle just to try and see if I can wiggle and move and free up I have again sprayed a little bit more WD-40 in there but the last thing as I say the last thing I want to do is cause any damage to this standard pipe so I'm just trying to put a bit of pressure on it and kind of pull at the same time as I'm pushing up and down spray a bit more WD-40 in as I just to work it around and see whether it will free it up Ah, there we go. There it is. That's our end baffle out. Let's just have a look at what it looks like from the end, straight on. That is without this section in there and as you can see that's your hole where the bolt goes and you can see why it sort of got jammed in there because it's a tight fit but luckily that WD-40 did work to some degree but that broom handle really worked a treat in loosening it up now we'll see what it sounds like without that So there you go that is what it sounds like with and without the standard baffle in there on the end can so like I say just remove the 8mm bolt use some WD-40 and the broom handle technique worked well for me support the exhaust with one hand whilst working the broom handle around and then basically it helps you get a bit more WD-40 in as you loosen it up and then eventually with a bit of rag and some pliers work it and pull that baffle out and there you go I think for now we'll have it without this and we'll see what it sounds like on the road with those beautiful VTEC revs opening up 
as always thanks for watching Dino's Garage and please subscribe to my channel and we'll be doing this and plenty more other things in the future thanks for watching